So, Shannon, what will happen today? Well, we know Smith will be back here in about an hour's time, and he will continue giving testimony to his own lawyer, Thomas Dungy. Where we left off yesterday was Dungy was questioning him on was this the plan? Did you know that this was supposed to happen? And Smitch maintained over and over again that he had no idea. He testified he didn't even know Millard had a gun on him that night. And he walked us through his relationship with co-accused Millard. They started out, he said, stealing things like trees to construction equipment. They called them their missions. But that night, Smitch says what he understood is that they were going to go on a test drive with Bosma and then come back at a later date and steal the truck. He said he was in shock and disbelief after what unfolded. Dungey's lawyer also pressed him on something I think people right across the country have likely been asking. Why didn't you come clean earlier? Why did it take until your arrest and then now on this stand to divulge all of this information? Again, Smitch said he was in shock. He was in disbelief. He said he was confused. And ultimately, Andrew, he said he was scared. So we are expecting hmm. more of that line of questioning today here in the courthouse. And Shannon, yesterday was an extremely difficult day for the Bosma family. Listening to Smitch give his version of what happened on that test drive. What did he say? Yes, absolutely. Because up until now, everything we have heard in court has been foot put forward by police, has been put forward by the Crown. There were only three people on that test drive, Dylan Millard, Mark Smidge, and Tim Bosma. And so for the first time, we heard a firsthand account, at least Smidge's version of what happened. He said after they left the Bosma home that the plan suddenly changed, that Millard told him to get out of Bosma's truck and follow behind in Millard's own vehicle. So he says he wasn't even in the truck. He was following behind when Bosma's truck suddenly swerved off the road. He said Millard got out. It was pitch black. He said Millard was yelling, I'm going to take the truck. When Smith walked over to Bosma's truck, that's when he said he saw a bullet hole. He saw Mr. Bosma slumped over the dashboard. Andrew, as you can imagine, hearing that in the courtroom, that is a packed courtroom full of Bosma's family, his wife sitting in the front row. She was literally shaking yesterday. Uh, fortunately, she is surrounded by loved ones, so they had their arms around her, but it was too much for Bosma's mom, who had to get up and leave the courtroom. She didn't come back yesterday to hear any of that. It was extremely disturbing, and we are, you know, four months in here, Andrew, so the family knows that it is at the end. The defense will continue. After Mark Smith finishes talking to his lawyer, though, he has to face cross-examination from Mark Smith's lawyer, or from Dylan Millard's lawyer, and then from the Crown.